And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Hi friends, welcome to Life with Princess Anu and yes, today is my introduction day and so I'm um, walking around checking how no, everybody not, is getting fun. themselves prepared and they're actually roasting the cow at this point. Also, I had to go to the kitchen to check what and what is going through but seriously, I'm so happy about today we have hoped for today we have longed for today and today has finally come to fulfillment so you're going to be joining me on this journey to see how my introduction went and yeah enjoying every piece of it so stay tuned sit tight and enjoy Excuse me, oh, people of God. <laughs> the bride is not ready. <laughs> Hey guys, update. Bride is getting ready. What do you still find out? <laughs> Let me check. But the bride needs just a chilled malt, you know, to put herself together. <laughs>
thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the planning. Thank you for the actualization of this plan. Thank you for everyone that have journeyed to this place. Thank you for the presence of the Spirit of the Living God in our midst. Thank you for every item on the program. Thank you, Lord, for your visitation. Thank you. And you promised us, you said, if two or three gathered in your name, you said you will be there. Father, we thank you for being in our midst. Thank you. And we thank you for being the chairman of this occasion. Thank you. We pray, oh God, that everything that will be done today by the ministration of your angels, it shall come alive and true in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, we declare today open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Spirit of the Living God. Amen. It shall be well with us. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord!
Are you spiritually saved? Have you keep your daddy? Introduction Are you spiritually saved? I have your life back so by the entertainment. You know, I got a mama far and let put your points in your push entertainment. But you have some proof for your own issue. Look for you for very fast. Hey, mommy, I want to listen to prayer. The mother said, Father, I will bless you for the day. King of kings, Father, I call it blessed and it's very sweet, okay, so Lord. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that you bless her in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you continue to supply her needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the grace to listen to you at all times, to be the best wife that you give to her in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will help me as well to be there for her, to, to be the husband that you want me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
Thank you for this ceremony. We thank you for this um, introduction. And we thank you for your presence. Father, blessed be your holy name. We pray for Abayomi that this introduction we are doing is the beginning of a peaceful marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will bless them in all ramifications of their lives. You will increase them 
on every side and you will keep their post in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not lack anything good in Jesus' name. And you are going to give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of one another. And you shall bless them and increase them in all areas of their life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you.
that you have ordained for her. Spirit of God, we pray that you will inspire her. 
you will quicken her with strength in the inner man. Amen. You will gather grant unto her favor, Amen. mercy, Amen. grace, Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All that she needs to be a wife indeed, a help meet unto her by me, grant unto her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Make her, O oh God, a mother in Israel. Amen. Cause her to be a pillar in the body of Christ. Amen. Cause her, O oh God, to be a blessing to our generation. Amen. A blessing to our family. Amen. A blessing to this nation. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. Lord we cover you with the blood of Jesus. Lord we cover you with the blood of Jesus. Lord Only the counsel of God shall stand over your life. Amen. Only the counsel of God shall stand over your family. Amen. Only the counsel of God shall stand over your husband. Amen. Only the counsel of God shall stand over the children the Lord has blessed you with. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. you will run and you will not be weak. Amen. You will walk and you will not fail. Amen. You will go from strength unto strength. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That which the Lord has ordained for your life, for your family, for your husband shall come to pass. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we are decreed.
We'll just read from verse 7 to 25. Genesis chapter 2. From verse 7 to 25. Genesis chapter 2. 7 to 25. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Verse 10. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted, and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pishon, that is which compasses the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is Bethlehem and the Oinstone. And the name of the second river is Gihon, the same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hidekel, that is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. 
For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help me for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found and help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be the glory, great things he has done. So love he the world that he gave us his son. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a rejoicing through Jesus the Son of your. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice, who come to the Father, to Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.